We got a flag, first flag in the morning. Brook trout, hopefully. Ready? Oh, pulled it right out of his mouth. What'd you do that for? Because he got down the weeds. Oh, he had the sinker. Instead of the... Yeah, the sinker was right down on top of it. Grab the bait. I'll be back. Got a flag. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, we can't wait for the cameraman. There he is, small one. Oh, whoop. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Quick release. <laughs> quickly, quickly, quickly. Shine down the hole. Do you see him? No. Nope. He's right there. Oh, pulled it right out of his mouth. Oh, there's a couple of them. <laughs> You're gonna hook me. Watch your eyes. No bait. <laughs> Whoop. Yes. Pretty slippery, slippery ain't they? And they're small. Yeah. Slowly fish. Nice small stocky. This one's actually got all of his fins. Just goes to show you, if you bring your jig pole, sometimes you can capitalize. Try it again. That is a nice one too. Oops. 14, 15 inches. Oh, he just missed it. Did you take your bait? Yeah, I caught the last one without bait. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. <laughs> The man moved on. Let's move down to this hole real quick. And I think they moved on. It's funny how shiners have yet to do anything and it smelts it right on the hammer. What do you mean? For catching fish. Oh, you're not catching nothing off the... Yeah, that's a shiner over there. And the, the other one was a smelt? Yeah. Then yeah, we can go reset that and move yeah. back over. Straight down the hole. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna, so let me get my head out of the way, because you're going to throw me right in the head. No. Uh, yeah. No. You wouldn't do that, would you? Not intentionally. <laughs> Break my rod. <laughs> Break my rod. <laughs> yeah. Usually they'll come right in if they're right there still. So we're out here today on Christmas Eve at a local pond and we'll redo that. So let me take oh get over here. GoPro. GoPro over here now. Could have caught that on camera. I did on the big camera. I'm talking about the fish eating it. You had the trap in a way. I could have moved it. Ooh. We we just watched this fish take the bait as we were trying to do a morning interview. 
We're waiting for him to eat it now. Didn't seem that big of a fish. I only caught a small glimpse of him. Yep. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> that was the one I saw earlier. How big do you figure that is? Maybe 15. Yeah, that is a pretty nice one. Nice color to them, too. Yeah. Yeah, his fins are still chewed up. This one here has been clipped right there and right here. That shows the year class of fish that was stocked. The tail, though, that's sometimes where you can see it. But you see that white? That's uh, part from the concrete tank that they're in. I'm gonna get, let him get breath and take the hook out. There we go. Oh, hold still fish. Hook jaw. Yes, sir. Halos. Back down the hole. There we go. <laughs> Three. So it's Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, everyone. We're on a local pond stocked with brook trout and brown trout. Today we're going to be fishing in about a foot to maybe four feet of water for the brook trout. There's an inlet behind me that comes in, and there's another one about 40, 50 yards to the other side of our sight hole. Uh, we're hoping today it's going to be a little bit higher number fish day than the last video. We've already got three on the ice that we've released, and uh, maybe we'll be able to get a nice uh, brood stock over 20 inches today. We'll see. So what I've done is I've drilled a hole close to that inlet and worked my way down the shoreline to a little point halfway in between the two inlets. And what the fish do, it seems they travel from one inlet to the other along the shoreline eating anything in their path. So this is about the size of Shiner I'm using. And uh, we got one on that first trap, it hasn't gone up yet. So we're gonna do a little experiment, see if it's bait or the hole. We're gonna put a Shiner on this active hole and see if they get it. Now, if we don't get a flag in the next 15, 20 minutes, I'll come back, switch out the bait for a smelt and see if that makes a difference. It's been, what, 10 minutes since we put that shiner on in the smelt trap? You know, the ice fishing I remembered, <laughs> you might get two or three flags first thing in the morning and things slow down a little bit. You know, it might be the smelt, it might not be. shack would definitely make all the difference, huh? Yeah, but it's a nice day. What? Whoop, he's bouncing. Did you get the bail or something? No, oh, he spit it. What happened? He spit the hook. And there was a line with those. Oh, oh, no, he was right there sitting. Four. That ain't the same one you called last time, is it? <laughs> it looks like it. <laughs> this one has some really nice blue halos. Yep. What's that, number four? Yep. You know, these ain't monsters there, but I mean, it's, uh... What do you do when I'm not here? Cut line. Or use my mouth. There we go. Yep. Now, as I was explaining before, that right there is being chewed up. This right here, it's a nice clean cut right close to the body. That's the fishery department marking the fish for the year class. What are them blue spots, huh? Beautiful. Back down the hole. So I guess it's not the shiner. I'd forgotten about that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So with that experiment proven successful, I think I might be able to save a few bucks on bait. Smelts are seven to eight dollars a dozen. Shiners are five to six. So there's a big difference when you buy three, four dozen. Oh, yep. wait a minute. Let me, let me get him. He just, he was like a bullet. Maybe it was just Shiner, but he looked like he took right off. Oh, he don't look very good. No, he didn't look like, he doesn't look like he was able to take off that fast. Oh, there he is. See him? Yep. That's a nice brookie. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Now that ain't the same one we keep on catching over and over, is it? No, no. This one's a little better looking with the fins. Right in the top corner of the mouth. Oh, it's male too. Yeah. Let's see how he has. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> I'm not sure. Whoop, there he goes. <laughs> not sure what fin that's called. Isn't it the pectoral? Nope. No? Pectorals are the front. Oh. Oh, that one there. Yeah, I think yeah. that's uh, rear something or other. If you know, no. comment in the comment section. Leave a comment in the comment section yeah. if you know what fin that is. Of course, Eric could always Google it. <laughs> Save you guys some typing. <laughs> that's a nice fish. Yeah. Oh, you got water on my lens. Oops. There he goes. <laughs> Go through some bait today. Was it, what number was that? Five? Five. How long have we been fishing for? Maybe an hour and a half? They ain't monster. Oh, I don't know. They're pretty decent fish. I mean. Yeah. Especially for first ice, you know. We're in the southern region of Maine where most of the ponds are open. Let's, uh, wait a minute. Switch sides. What was you saying before? That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fish. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a slow day, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Swallow. Female. Uh, might be a female. Yeah, it is, I think. Don't have quite as much color either. Yeah. Easy fish. You want me to hold line? Nope. I just need him to slow down. Yeah. There he goes. When you least expect it. Yeah, for a good, pretty good day. <laughs> yeah. Six? Yep. Number six. Sure is. How's she looking? I think she's stripped. Nope, still got bait. But the difference, I think, is it's all saved. So we still haven't had a flag on that first trap. I'm gonna move it the next hole closer. A little bit, it's probably 40 feet away from the hole that's really active. So I'm thinking if we move it a little bit closer, we'll be able to be running nonstop. We'll go right through this bait. We only got like eight pieces left. And it's only like 8.30. Of We're not supposed to be fishing now. Yeah, I'm just saying. Seven. Are you recording? Oh, oh there don't. he goes. Oh. <laughs> Let's just leave it out of the hole until. <laughs> okay. If it's a little bit bigger fish, I fight him a little bit more, but. For the most part, I try to get them right out of the water so they don't spook the other fish. Oh, there he goes. Quick release. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is just small flips in place and then lift it all the way up. All the way back in. 
Flag. Get a flag. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, he finally got me. Now he's laying right on bottom. So we fished the sight hole for a couple minutes. Didn't see nothing. Big open hole. We'd see anything around there looking. So we moved up about 40 feet to this next hole that we made. And if we don't get nothing there, we're gonna move up to the second inlet and try in front of there. So we fished here about 10 minutes. No fish swim past, no bites. We're gonna try going up to that inlet and seeing if we can't pick up a few up there. So the outlet's right over here and it's like six or eight inches right at the mouth of it and it very slowly works its way down to about two feet right here and that's probably about three and four feet of water. We'll see uh, just where the fish are. Maybe here, maybe not be here. Oh, oh. Oh, did I hit that just right or what? So it's a nice warm day out and I'm not being too quick with these fish because they're not going to freeze up on me. Now if there's 20 degrees out with 15 mile an hour winds, I'd be real quick to keep get this fish back in the water. I'm trying to get You can just let him go. Yes, sir. How many is that? Nine. Now, now, when you're handling any fish, obviously they're slimy, right? That's a protective coating on them, and the first thing you want to do before you handle your fish, wet your hand. It kind of helps keep the slime from sticking to your hand so bad. So we just picked up some new uh, audio equipment there. We're trying to get our video quality a little bit better there, and uh, the audio might not be perfect there. There, we might take us a few days there to get everything all tweaked out so it sounds good there. But uh, we're definitely working on it for you. So it's about nine ten now, and uh, we haven't got a flag since the first flurry of flags this morning. Caught that one straggler on the other inlet, so we decided to pick up these traps. Going to jig for about five or ten more minutes. Then we're going to move out deep, try to find some brown trout. I bet you were wondering why we had the fur bows in the sled, and that's to mark our hole. Yeah, you know, it's great being able to see the fish, but I'd feel awful if someone fell in it and got messed up. It's quite a big hole. Safety first. It takes us a few days to edit and upload our videos to YouTube. If you'd like to stay current, hop over to Facebook at Pine State Hunter. We usually post a few pictures and maybe a sneak peek of our day's trip. Well, it's 11.34. It's almost noon time, our cutoff time. We got a few Christmas things we have to do. Uh, it's been a good morning. Uh, first couple hours in the shallow cove, we caught a few brook trout 
think it was what, nine? Something like that. Nine, ten. Yeah. Pretty good morning there for the first hour and a half. Yep. And it slowed down tremendously after that. <laughs> sure has. We moved out to that deep water, 23 to 20 feet of water for browns. No flags, no marks, no bites. We're going to have to get out of here pretty quick here. Uh, Eric's got a Christmas party he's got to go to this afternoon. Uh, but uh, still be sitting around the house watching the boob tube. Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't know. Do people even say that anymore? <laughs> boob tube? <laughs> uh, not too, too many young people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I put up with all the time. <laughs> huh? I said I really want two more of them. And a half a dozen more jig rods. Brand new aqua view camera.